My sister and I were reminiscing on our favorite childhood memories when I decided to tell her about the creatures I used to think I saw behind our old house. She told me she saw the same exact things. Both of our stories lined up so perfectly that it actually freaked us out, and we had to stop talking about it. Several years ago, we were in Northwestern Oregon, we've since moved states. We lived in St. Helens, in a house with a huge wooded area behind it. We always played and explored back there. When I was back there, sometimes I would see movement in the corner of my vision. Whenever I would look over to see what it was, I would see one of these things. I never really saw them at the same time. The first one was tall, dark, and super lanky. It walked on all fours and just looked sickly. When I turned to look at it, it would freeze in place, then just bolt further into the forest. It looked leathery, with only a little bit of hair on its legs and neck. It always looked like it had big ears or antlers, but I could never tell for sure. I never saw its face. When it stood still, it had a solid shape. Whenever it bolted, it was like it lost its shape and the edges of it were constantly shifting. The second one scared me more. It had the same lanky legs and walked on all fours, but the body was disproportionately larger than the legs. It also looked like it had more hair than the other one. I would always see it just before or after the first one I described. It also had the same either weird ears or antlers, but it was always standing somewhere dark, unlike the first one which always seemed to not mind light as long as there were lots of trees. I never saw it move. It would just stand there when I saw it, and disappear when I blinked or looked away. I also saw this one's face, and it had these huge, milky white eyes with no pupils. Sometimes I would catch it watching me from behind slash between trees. They both were about the size of a large horse or something. We could also hear branches snap whenever the smaller one bolted. The first few times I saw them, I was scared shitless. Before I saw the first one, I'd always just feel a little anxiety and like I was being watched. Before I saw the second one, I'd feel the same way, but would also get a strong sense of dread to go along with it. After a while, as child me got more accustomed to seeing them, I'd whisper greetings to them. They'd stick around a few seconds longer than usual whenever I did, like they could hear my whispers. Eventually, I felt more comfortable with them being there I didn't feel the dread or fear after a few years of seeing them. Something told me to not try and get close, but as long as I respected our distance. I almost felt safer knowing they were there. I even saw the large one, because of its eyes, in the forest outside my bedroom. We're there. I even saw the large one, because of its eyes, in the forest outside my bedroom window one night when it was raining. I told my sister all of this, and she started freaking out, saying she thought they were like weird imaginary friends. If I had to describe something that vaguely resembled them, I'd say like a cross between a deer, a bear, large one, slash sickly wolf, small one, and a man. Like a Wendigo almost, but not quite the same. They never seemed evil either, just scared me at first. They might have just been some fucked up animals, but that doesn't feel right to me for some reason. Forgot to describe the feet. I never saw them as clearly, but little sister said they looked like a cross between paws and some really weird hands, they had longish toes that looked like fingers i.g. Also the little one could usually be first spotted with either one or both of its front legs slash arms folded against its chest. It would put them down to walk slash run. The larger one never moved like that in front of us. I always had this feeling in my gut that it didn't trust us enough to do so. 1733, December 15, 2022, Moi Inui 1 between my sister and I, we kind of agreed on the feelings they gave us, though there were some differences. She felt more of a connection to the small one, and I felt more of a connection to the big one. 
Simple explanation could be that I'm the oldest and she's the youngest. Not sure what a spiritual explanation would be for that, if there even is one. At first, we were both terrified and would bolt whenever we saw them. I would get this sense of paranoia, and later dread. I also felt very protective over the small one, and respectful of the larger one. It felt like they knew where we were at all times, even if we couldn't see them. As time passed, and we grew used to them, the fear and dread went away. It just became awe and silent respect. I also felt safer in the forest, as if we had something watching over us back. 1736, December 15, 2022, Moi in We One, there. My sister would bring them snacks slash leftovers and books, and I built them a lean to. A homeless dude took that as his home. Police came by to give him a ride to a shelter, and we unfortunately had to take it down. I also remember looking out my bedroom window on the night while it was raining, same night I mentioned originally. I'd been having nightmares, and was listening to the rain. After my eyes adjusted to the dark, I spotted the big one. I almost missed it but the eyes stood out like a sore thumb. It startled me because I wasn't expecting it, but then I felt super calm, and was able to fall back asleep. No more nightmares. Again, they might just be a pair of unidentified slash sickly animals, but they still helped me feel safe and awe and wonder as a child. Shout out to those guys, FR.